All right, guys, today we've got a little real versus fake for you with these Coach 1941 hang tags. I, I recently bought a Rogue 25. It was brand new, still had the tags on it. Um, and the pictures from the seller, I couldn't really see the hang tag. I could see that it was there, but I couldn't see it up close. When the bag arrived, it was very clear that the bag is absolutely genuine. Everything on the bag is correct, but instantly I noticed that the hang tag was wrong. Now, I posted a picture of these on my Instagram stories asking people to guess which one is the fake one and which one is the authentic one. And it's actually shocking how many people thought that the fake one was the right one, was the authentic one. So here we've got the answer. This is the authentic one. This is the inauthentic one. And I will show you all the details that tells me that this one is fake and um, do a little comparison for you. So there are actually some things that are quite surprising, but we will get to all of that. So first of all, just looking at the two, they are pretty much the same size. Um, you can see though that the fake one over here is a little bit of a weird shape. If you look down here at the bottom, you can see that it's not quite straight. Um, it kind of curves in over here. And you also have an indent up here, uh, right under the metal, which you're not supposed to have. As you can see in the real one, it does go in slightly curved as these corners are also curved, but not to the degree that you see on this one which is obviously a lot more dramatic right there. So that is the first thing. The second thing, the thing that I noticed straight away, the very first thing I saw about this was that the stitching is extremely poor. So if you look at the real one, you'll see the stitching is very neat. Um, they're almost all the same size. They're slightly smaller here at the end, but, but they're very, very straight all the way down to the corners. The corners don't have any weird curves or anything. And it's just very, very neat. And when you look at the back, uh, you can barely see it here because of the snakeskin, but it looks the same. And for the fake one, you will see the stitching is very, very uneven. So first of all, you've got a slight tilt to the stitch here, which you don't have on the real one. And down here, there's a terrible curve in it right there. And you can see around the corners, it's very, very sloppy. And the same thing up here as well, very sloppy. So when you compare the two, it's very obvious that the left one has completely different stitching than the first one. And something I also noticed straight away is that for the specific bag that this hang tag came on, the hang tag is supposed to be smooth leather and this one is pebble leather. So that was also a little bit strange, although I do, I do know that sometimes you will get a bag where the hang tag is actually not the same uh, type of leather as it is in all the other ones. Like you might have a sample bag. Sometimes, um, you know, sometimes people have just changed the hang tag. And that's exactly what I think happened with this one. I believe whoever had this bag before, it was missing the hang tag. They went and bought one to put on and maybe they just didn't realize that they had bought a fake. Um, that's my best guess because the bag is 100% genuine. Um, it's just the hang tag that's wrong. Anyways, let's talk some more about these two hang tags. So, the next thing I want to talk about is actually something that I found very interesting. It's when you look at the horse and carriage on here, the interesting thing is that the fake one is actually very detailed. I will also put some pictures on here up close so you can see all the details in case the camera doesn't focus properly. But you can see that you have the little guy with the whip, the wheels, the horses and carriage. It's all very crisp and looks right. And on the real one, it's actually a lot more blurry and less detailed. It's kind of looks almost worse on the real one than on the fake one, but this is totally normal. Uh, some of these just look like this and it's not the sign of a fake. They can all, some of them can be very crisp, some of them aren't, but this is what the real one looks like when you see them together. Also depends on the lighting, but the real one, the hardware in the real one is also slightly darker. And not that I would say that is a sign of it being fake because obviously there are many different uh, styles of, there are many different colors of hardware. Um, there's like multiple types of gunmetal as far as I'm aware. And there's also black copper. Uh, you have different colors of hardware anyways, but um, that is the difference between these two. Now, a huge thing <laughs> that I also noticed straight away is if you turn them around, Obviously this one over here does not have snakeskin on the back. 
This bag that it comes with is supposed to have snakeskin on the back. It matches the clochette, which is also 100% uh, snakeskin, and the handles are snakeskin as well, colored in the same color as the bag. And now the second thing about the back of these is that, well, first of all, look at that stitching again. It looks horrendous. But also look at the color. This is such a bright yellow. And one thing I noticed straight away on this one as well was that the front actually is more of the pale hay yellow that it's supposed to be. But I don't know if you can see this in the video, but it actually looks like it's been kind of bleached or been treated in some way to make the color look more like a pale yellow. And as soon as I turned it around, I could tell that obviously it used to be this bright yellow and someone, you know, treated it to make it look like the correct yellow. What is strange is to go to all that effort, but then leave it like use the, this bright yellow here on the back still. So yeah, that of course is a huge thing that you don't have the snakeskin on the back. And when you look at these two as well, if you hold them, let me see here. One thing you can see as well, I don't know if you can see this in the video. There's like a space in here under the metal where it's like the hang tag is too thin for the hole in the hardware. Whereas on the real one, it is filled out completely up to the metal. Then the second thing, you can actually see it from this angle here, are the screws. So the fake one does have flathead screws on the back like they're supposed to, just like the real one. But for the real one, the screws are in so far that they're completely smooth from the smooth like level with the hardware here. On the fake one, they are poking out quite a lot. They're sticking out. Uh, you can see that right there, how much they stick out from the metal which is not how it's supposed to be. So that is another red flag for sure. Then the last thing I wanna mention about these is the font on the hardware. All right, so for the font, I will have to show you some pictures up close as it's quite hard to get the camera to focus on both of them that close because it's so small. But when you look at the font on these, what you will see is that on the real one, Coach is way more crisp. It's, it's stamped way deeper into the metal than it is on the fake one. And also on the fake one, the word coach seems to be spaced out more than on the real one. And same thing with 1941. It's actually a little bit bigger on the fake one and uh, just way more crisp and stamped deeper into the hardware on the real one. So that is also a good indicator that this hang tag is fake. Other than that, the hardware actually looks good. Like I said, the Horse and carriage is very detailed. It looks right. The shape of the top metal bit up here is also totally fine. The color of it is fine. Oh, and actually, as I'm talking about it, I realized I said this was the last thing I was going to say, but there is one more thing that's very important <laughs> that uh, is actually a huge red flag as well. And it is the glazing on the edges here. So what you'll see here is you have this smooth, dark glazing around the edge of the hang tag and it should be very smooth and neat. Um, I'm not saying that it has to be perfect. There can there are definitely real coach bags and coach items where the glazing could have hit a little bit on the leather. Like when it's all done by hand, you will have imperfections, but look how well it's done on this one. And then look at the fake one here. I'm hoping this will show up in the video. Look how bumpy that is. It is terrible. You can tell that this glazing was done by someone who is not a professional, I guess. I mean, I'm hoping this shows up that it's very, very uneven. Let's see if we can compare the two here. Look at that difference in glazing. That is such a huge telltale sign that that is a fake hang tag. So there you have it. Also, just looking at the profile here, look how uneven the fake one is compared to the real one. Nope, isn't going to cut it. So there you have it. Two coach hang tags, one fake, one real. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that it'll help you in your authentication process. And uh, if you did find it helpful, if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got loads more coming and I already have loads of coach videos on the channel. So um, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.